time safariers do we have on board? Raise your hand. First, first time with us. Raise your hand. Yeah. All right, Karabuni, that means welcome. And for those of you who have journeyed with us before, welcome back. Thank you. Glad to have you on board. There is a wildlife spotting guide above your head that will help you identify any of the animals that we encounter today. And if you look well, the under the well. den right here, they're laying Into down. Ducks. But there are painted dogs in that den. So you look carefully, you'll make them out. But painted dogs are not related to domesticated canines. Oh, they're all sleeping. In spite of their names. And the best way to tell a painted dog is by the patterns of their coat. They're very unique. Over here on the back side, there are female stable antelopes. They are brown and white. Males are black and white. Look at the giraffe. How close we are to Over on our right hand side, those are the Eland are the largest of the African antelopes. And we're also passing by some termite mounds. Termite mounds are very strong, like concrete. And termites have a structure very similar to ants. And that is a queen termite. And then worker termites. Now, as we pass these giraffes on our left and right, take a look at their patterns. They're rough edged patterns, and that identifies them as a Maasai giraffe. A reticulated giraffe has smooth edge patterns. If anybody was curious about the length of a giraffe's tongue, it actually kind of varies. Um, if the giraffe is standing between 18 and 20 feet tall, the tongue will be about 18 to 20 inches long. Some more wildebeest. Did you watch the video? Oh, this one as well as a heartless mountain zebra. Well, just like zebras and giraffes, they both have prints or patterns, and those are unique to each individual. No two are the same, kind of like oh, our own fingerprints. over to the right hand side there are some elephants over there and if we look to the left in these trees down low there is a mandrel oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. and over on the right hand side are the african elephants the elephants can be identified by the shape of their ears which roughly resemble the outline of the continent of africa and the mandrels have a blue and red striking on their face. Yeah. Here's another look at the elephants. And then you can see them using their trunks to pick up. Now the average elephant trunk can hold about five gallons of water. <laughs> Thank you. 
continue forward looking over to the left hand side, there are some more African elephants I can see. Uh, 5,000 pounds. 
And both the black and white rhino have horns, and those horns are made out of the same material as our own fingernails. Over here on our left hand side, there are the two female lions, and then the male lion up on the I'll hopefully have a good one amongst those. <laughs> you get a good one? Oh, amazing. Just caught him. <laughs> All right, my friends, looking back over on our He's left hand shoulder, there are oh, a couple of warthogs. Oh, now, warthogs have carved out these burrows like down them. below. Oh. Okay. And when they are on the move, they can go around 30 to 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Never managed to see the emu. Only on the edge line around. Oh, there's a rhino. White rhino. Now we're coming alongside an ostrich. Now, ostriches are the largest land bird. You're right. They have the largest eyes. Lay the largest eggs are the only birds and are the fastest biped running on two legs of the wildlife reserve here at the warden's post. And if you look over to your left hand side, you're going to see the Nigerian dwarf goats. Mm. Cute. And these dwarf goats are popular among farmers because they are smaller than traditional cattle, thereby taking up less land space, they can still be a milk resource. So,